Good morning, everyone. I'm Diane Brosart. I'm president of Arizona Forward, a 45-year-old business-based environmental public interest organization, which, by the way, the city of Phoenix founded with us in 1969. Today's a very exciting day. We have an opportunity to hear about a truly innovative idea from the city of Phoenix that will help protect our local Colorado River water supply. Every Arizonan has a stake in our water supply. It affects our economy, our quality of life, and our sustainability. In fact, more than 140 business leaders are going to gather here today to address this important issue. Continued drought and climate change are putting pressure on an already overextended Colorado River. That has elevated the dialogue to the forefront. In just one decade, the Colorado River Basin has lost the equivalent of two Lake Meads, which is the largest reservoir in the nation. And the Colorado was deemed the America's most unhealthy river. That affects all of us, and we're going to have to stem the tide and get Arizona on the right track. We need local leaders who will step up to the plate. Thankfully, in Phoenix, we have a mayor who gets it, a mayor who understands that cities also have a critical role to play in protecting our water supply. Just two weeks ago, Mayor Greg Stanton joined forces with Tucson Mayor Jonathan Rothschild and the Metropolitan Domestic Water Improvement District in Tucson. They entered into the, a first-of-a-kind of agreement for water storage that will benefit both cities. Today, we have yet another exciting announcement. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to the good mayor. All right. Thank you, uh, Diane uh, Brossard. Thank you, Arizona uh, Ford, for what you've done for so many decades now, promoting sustainability, green efforts in our community. You were sustainable before sustainable was cool. <laughs> but it is cool now, and that's why we are uh, moving forward. I also want to thank my partner on the city council, our city council leader on sustainability, Councilman Bill Gates, will say a few words in uh, just a few moments. Our leader on water issues in particular, Councilman Thelda Williams, was not able to be here, but I know she's very supportive of the announcement we are making uh, here today. And I was just hanging out with uh, Councilwoman Kate Gallego at a, a previous event. I know she's very supportive, and I know the, the council will be supportive as well. And I do also want to say thank you to Catherine Sorensen, who serves as the leader within the city, the head of our water services department, I might add, the very best water services director in the entire country. Thank you very much for your innovative and strong leadership. And Cliff Neal, who is the leader of our water planning efforts at the uh, city of Phoenix, they'll be here to answer any questions uh, as well. We are here for a very exciting and also necessary announcement, uh, the creation of the Phoenix Water Resiliency um, uh, Fund. Uh, and I know that we know that, light, that water, excuse me, is the lifeblood of our local economy. In our desert, the desert that we live in here in the Phoenix metropolitan area, water is a precious resource. And securing our water future is one of my highest priorities and one of the highest priorities of this city council. It's important for both residents of our city, our region, our state, and critically important for the future of our economy. Our entire community and those looking to come to our city must have confidence that we not only have enough water to, to grow our economy and also to attract investment. They also need to know that our water resources are resilient, that they will last through extended drought and, and climate change and that they'll continue to meet our customers' needs. Now, we as a city have planned well for shortages, thanks to Catherine and to Cliff and their predecessors in their leadership positions. But we also have a responsibility to think ahead and to plan for our future. That's why we're here today. And I want to recognize, as I mentioned earlier, Councilman Gates for his leadership on water uh, issues. Next week, Councilman Gates and the rest of the city council and I will vote to create the Colorado River Resiliency Fund, an innovative fund that will set aside water capital funds to prepare us for our future and to protect our water supplies against shortages on the Colorado River. By, invest, by investing approximately $5 million annually, we can store the city's unused Colorado River water in underground recharge facilities. These resources will also allow us to take part in sharing wells with our local water utility partners 
as well as to improve groundwater management, watershed protection, and restoration. And with this important fund, we can look at potential shortage le year lease options with users who hold higher, pr higher priority water rights on the Colorado River and future expansion of the Colorado River System Conservation Program. The bulk of the resiliency fund comes from refinancing some outstanding water department debt at a lower interest rate. The water rate will not be affected by today's announcement. The creation of this Colorado River Resiliency Fund will not affect our local uh, water rate. This, is the kind, this, is, uh, this plan is a kind of insurance policy for our future. And I, as mayor, am very grateful for our city staff for their hard work to make this idea, this innovative idea, a possibility and today a reality. With water becoming an even more pressing issue, with climate change already having measurable effects, cities have an important role to play in securing our water supplies. Phoenix is fortunate to have a staff who are creative and who think outside the box. It's one of the reasons that why earlier this month, the city of Phoenix and the city of Tucson entered into an unprecedented agreement to protect both cities against future drought. There has never been a shortage declaration on the Colorado River, but unless we have one or more years of significantly higher than normal snowfall on the river basin, the threat of shortage will continue to increase. So we, we as a community, we as a city, we as a state, we as a region, we have to do whatever we can to get ahead of the threat. The, f the focus on the future is on the issue of resiliency. I mentioned him uh, earlier, and I do want to now bring him uh, to the podium. Councilman Gates has been a leader on many issues at the, uh, at the city, but in particular, he has taken the bull by the horns on the issue of sustainability. And this announcement here today, the Colorado River Resiliency Fund, is both for planning for our water future, protecting against future drought, and is a very, very important sustainability uh, program for uh, the city of Phoenix. Without further ado, Councilman Bill Gates. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I think it is very appropriate that we're having this discussion and this announcement here as part of the Arizona Forward Conference. And Diane, I just want to thank uh, Arizona Forward because I really think Arizona Forward is a model uh, for what we ought to see throughout our communities. They understand the need to balance the interests of sustainability uh, with our interest in growing uh, the economy of this valley and, in fact, the entire state. And I think Arizona Forward has done a wonderful job of balancing those two interests uh, throughout their history uh, here in our community. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about water policy, concern about long-term planning. But I'm really proud to be a member of the Phoenix City Council and to be serving with Mayor Stanton because we're doing more than just talking about it. We're taking action. And today's announcement is another example of taking action to ensure the long-term water supply for the sixth largest city in the United States. I was very supportive and proud to vote in favor of the partnership with the city of Tucson. And now we're talking about the second step, which is the creation of this Colorado River Resiliency Fund as part of our capital uh, improvement plan for water services. I think it is a great approach. It is the way that we need to be going. There's no question. We have a plan in the city of Phoenix now. But by creating this Colorado River Resiliency Fund, what we're doing now is preparing for the worst case scenario. And sadly, that's kind of what we've been living through as we've been facing the worst drought in the last 400 years, just you know, so far in this century in Arizona and throughout the Southwest. So it's time to act, and that's what we're doing. But I couldn't agree more with the mayor that we wouldn't be where we are if it were not for our Water Services Director, Catherine Sorensen. Catherine, thanks for your leadership on this. I'm very excited to be a part of this announcement today, and I look forward to voting uh, for uh, creating this resiliency fund next week. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Gates, uh, uh, very much. So while we pray for a heavy snow this winter and for as many winters moving forward as possible, we are doing what we should be doing as city leaders, that is preparing for the possibility of a further drought. Today's announcement, the Colorado River Resiliency Fund, is a big, big part of this city taking a leadership role on planning for our water future.